Hey J members, this is Laval. I'm your fitness director here and we are excited to, to bring you some new stuff this week. Today I'm gonna be doing an in-home workout, basically focusing on your upper body that you can do with no equipment whatsoever. Let's just get started. We're gonna start out with a warm up. Okay, the warm up we're gonna start in 30 second intervals. We're going to do running in place for 30 seconds. We're gonna do jumping jacks for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna do jump ropes for 30 seconds, okay? And we're gonna repeat those three times. But I'm only gonna go through them once. You're gonna repeat them three times, okay? So we'll start out, you'll set your nice little timer and you'll just start out jogging in place trying to make sure that you keep your core really tight, right? And you'll just keep going. Make sure you breathe. Don't try to hold your breath. Good. Keep going. Got about 15 seconds left here. Good, from there we're gonna switch into a jumping jack. Same thing, making sure you try to feel that right in your middle section, right in your core. Good. Keep going. And you can always modify these. If you, if, you, if you have a problem jumping, all you have to do is just raise up like this. But if you can jump, do that. And then lastly, we're gonna switch over to a jump rope. Keep that core tight. Awesome. So you're gonna do all three of those exercises, 30 seconds each. You're gonna do that three times. That's a four and a half minute warm up for you. Okay? Awesome. From there, we're gonna start to do something that kind of warms up our core. So for here, you're gonna need a mat, but if you're at home, your carpet will be fine. All right? So you get down on all four. You're gonna put your hands right underneath your shoulders. Your knees are gonna go right underneath your hips. Your feet are going to be dug into the ground. And what you're gonna do from here, simply raise your knees about an inch off the ground, and you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds, concentrating on making sure you're squeezing your middle section. So keep holding. If you can't do 30 seconds, do 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, do that three times until you can get to 30 seconds. Once you can do that, then try to hold the full 30. Okay? Once you finish that, you're gonna stay in that position. Now we're gonna just get a little bit of flexibility. So you're gonna do, you're gonna bring your knees up. You're gonna sit back on your heels. And then you're just gonna come back to that middle section, squeezing that stomach. So you're coming back. Up. You're gonna do this 10 times. Back, squeeze, back, squeeze, back, squeeze. 10 reps of that. Then you're gonna turn over, lie on your back. You're gonna do what's called V ups here. So your hands are gonna be over your head, your feet are gonna be down. You're gonna bring one leg up at a time. So you're gonna bring your leg up and your body. That's one. You're gonna switch legs. Two. There you go. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. So that's gonna be your middle section. That is fo focusing on your core, on your stomach, okay? So you're gonna do all three of those exercises three times. Got it? I'm not gonna do three times, you're gonna do three times. All right, last ones. Now we're gonna focus on the upper body itself, right? So what we're gonna do right now is you're gonna go into a push-up position, okay? You're gonna bring your hand up, open up. You're trying to focus on this shoulder right here, and then you're gonna come back down. If you have weights, you can use this hand to lift the weight. A water bottle, you can lift a water bottle, keeping your arm straight. 
coming back to the center. You're gonna do 10 on this side, and then you're gonna switch and do 10 on the other side. Awesome. From there, we're gonna do some dips. If you can, you can just grab a chair. That'd be great. If you don't have a chair, that's okay. You can use the ground. Your, your hands are facing forward towards yourself. You're gonna bring yourself up, feet off the ground, and you're simply gonna dip on the back of your arms, which is getting to your triceps. You can get a lot deeper if you put your hands on a chair, but if not, this works just fine. Awesome, okay? And the last exercise is called a reverse push-up. Don't let it scare you, anybody can do it, okay? It's not actually a full push-up, we're working on the descension of your push-up, so we're working on going down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your body on the ground, hands next to your chest, okay? From here, you're simply gonna bring yourself up to your knees. Not come all the way up, just your knees. Once your knees are up, you're gonna bring up your butt. Lift up your butt, and then you're gonna let, let yourself down with your chest first. That's one. So you're gonna go knees up, down. Knees up, down. The good thing about this is that you can let yourself down as fast or as slow as you need to. So for those of you that are a lot stronger, you can let yourself down slow. If you feel like you're not as strong, let yourself down a little bit faster, okay? You're gonna repeat all three of those three times also. By the time you finish, you can see how sweaty I am. You'll be very good, okay? This is a great upper body workout that you don't need any equipment for. See you next time.